You were mentioning earlier the difference between uh, martial arts and combative. So, um, what exactly is Promac? Well, Promac pr is really, it, it has both. Um, combatives is like high speed, low drag, pared down martial art for combat. And then, you know, so if you look at the origins of it in the Western world, where it came out of judo and karate and places like that, and you know, Kelly McCann has a saying that, you know, once combatives becomes complicated, it's no longer combative. It's supposed to be very simple. And if you look at, you know, like the, the Fairburn Sykes, Applegates, Starry, McCann, people like that, Defendo, all these things, even Kadishnikov, he started learning trench fighting methods from, you know, people that were in World War II from Stalingrad, and he learned Spirit and Ovian, um, Sambo and so forth that was more combatively based and what we're trying to do is is we're trying to bridge that gap between the Western combatives mind where you you know you knife hand chop you hit to the eye you eye gouge you you know you hit the nose you do these different things you need to the groin which all those things work and they're the basis of combatives and then we're trying to bridge that gap to the science and the Russian side where they have all these physics and everything that makes sense. And so we've, we've bridged it to where we use those initial combative type elements that are techniques, but then we, we blend it with the science. So when, when we initially start, we just don't expect the guy to fall down because we turn him. And that's you know a training fallacy is people think that they're gonna get in there and they're gonna be able to affect somebody's equilibrium or they're gonna do these crazy strikes and they're gonna win. In reality, they're gonna get bulls do bulldozed the fuck over and they're gonna get hurt. So we're using those initial standoff methods to get to where we need to be. We're using it to get to the equilibrium, to get to the wheel and axle, to get to the wedge. We're using it as part of the wedge. We're using it there. We started from the beginning. And I think we're really bridging the gap in a lot of ways between the combative side and the martial arts side because once you get, that's Promac basic. But once you get to Promac advanced, Promac advanced is very much more martial art. You know, it's, it's much more efficiency. Um, you know, a lot of the problem is you get a guy that he's out on the street and yeah, he can fight, he can go full out, you know, and he can be hitting, he can be doing all these different things for 60 seconds, but if you put him out on the battlefield and he's been there for five days and he's exhausted, yep. he's not going to be able to do all that type of stuff. He's already at 50%, plus he's got, you know, 60 to 80, you know, pounds of, you know, he's kitted out. So there's got to be that efficiency, that me the mechanics and the physics and the biomechanics and the kinesiology that come from the Russian side that we learn, but there's got to be that American practicality and ingenuity and violence and level of violence and violence of action that's lacking on that side that we bring to it. And that's, that's the difference between the two. We, we try to be as high speed, low drag, but high science, low bullshit as we possibly can so that when somebody gets in there, they're much more efficient and effective, whether it's right now in this four foot box that I always talk about, or whether it's down the road when they're out there and they're exhausted, they haven't eaten for five, or they haven't eaten for four days, they haven't drank for two, and they're just beaten up, they can find that middle ground. Yeah.